Cedric Mullins, wow, has he burst onto the scene, playing center field for the Orioles right now. And uh, just had a great conversation about how Cedric actually got started in baseball. Cedric, you got to tell that golf club story for me, please. Uh, I was about three years old. And uh, it was about Christmas time, and I had received a golf club set from my uncle. And, you know, my, my dad was watching me play outside instead of hitting it on the ground. Uh, you know, like a true golfer, you know, Tiger Woods was a hot topic at the time. Uh, I was actually picking it up and, you know, hitting it in the <laughs> air. And my dad saw it through the kitchen, through the kitchen window, and he called my mom over. He was like, hey, come look at this. And uh, I think I was just by myself. I don't know what my brother was doing. And, uh... So yeah, they, he saw that and he was like, you know, I want to go see something real quick. So he went to a Walmart that was near our house and got one of those little Velcro ball sets with the little pads. And, you know, he just called me over. Of course, I don't know what the heck's going on at three years old. And he was like, hey, come, come, come try something with me. He starts throwing me the ball and somehow I'm actually catching it. Uh, and he said, you know, I think we got a baseball player on our hands. And, uh, I've, been, I've loved the game ever since. That's, that's a great story. I love it. And. Uh, and Cedric Mullins was born into the baseball world. And, uh, you know, just a few years ago, drafted into the Orioles organization. And I, I like to find out what young players think about the organization because when Buck Showalter came on board uh, back in uh, 2011 or so, 2012, and the Orioles started winning, putting together some winning teams, the whole organization really changed. When you came in in 2015, did you feel a sense of like urgency to win? Did you feel like that's what you were being taught in the minor leagues? Oh yeah, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it was all about the win, you know, regardless of how we got to it. Uh, you know, we were constantly preached on playing hard, you know, playing the right way. And at the same time, you know, developing uh, our own game. Absolutely. You know, you saying the right way, uh, being a Baltimore Oriole, and we also talked a little bit about if you had ever heard about the Oriole way, and it's, it's something, a tradition, I guess, and all teams have their traditions where they try to have a philosophy, something they build on, and the Oriole way was really established back when the Orioles came to Baltimore back in 1954, and just they were kind of built on pitching defense and the three-run home run, but there were other intangibles that teams started looking at. And the Oriole players, they looked more at their, their head. Were they intelligent players? Did they know how to play the game? Could they execute bunts, hit and runs, yeah. things like that, and have that intelligence to take advantage of certain situations? I personally see that in you. There have been compliments made towards you, Al Bumbry, and he was part of that Oriole way. Would you say you're that type of player? And would you kind of be that type of player to look to? I'm, I'm always striving to be that type of player. You know, it's it's the little things, uh, the detail that uh, you know help win ball games, and I'm starting to realize that very early. Uh, you know, just being able to you know understand situations, like you said, being smart. You know, I'm, I'm learning my own game in that sense. You know, when when situations arrive where it's a good time for a bunt, you know, to create that opportunity for the guy behind me. You know, those. Those are things that I feel the Oriole way is what I'm learning. Absolutely. You know, that was an incredible bunt you laid down the other day and really sparked a big inning. Uh, VR had a big three-run home run. Uh, you have your own power. I mean, you have some pretty good power numbers in the minor leagues. With that kind of, uh, I guess, combination of speed and power, I mean, do you consider yourself a prototypical leadoff hitter, something the Orioles haven't had for years now? I would say that. You know, I'm, I'm a... I'm always a guy who's wanting to get on base, wanting to steal bases, wanting to create RB opportunities for the guys behind me. And, you know, that's basically a typical leadoff guy's job. And, you know, to be able to be compared to the Al Bumbries and all those other great baseball players throughout the years, you know, it's, it's awesome.